still frame images. Okay, we're going to look at this first. This is a slideshow type of approach to film. And it's probably one of the most asked questions with students is how do I make uh, a slideshow? So this is how you do it. I brought some very problematic JPEGs into this situation. Okay, like this one for instance. This was shot with a Nikon uh, D5000 and you can see that it's huge. It's absolutely huge. Compared to the frame size, it's big. And this happens all the time with our newest digital uh, still frame technology as far as like our Nikons and our digital cameras are concerned. It's going to be bigger than the 1920 by 1080 p that fits on a standard TV screen or YouTube. Okay. Here, we're going to look at it like this. First off, I need to get it halfway. And to do that, I'm going to right click on this and say scale to frame size. Okay, this allows me to get the halfway point that I need. Then I'm going to hold shift and click here in the corner. This allows me to resize it. Also, by holding shift, I can rotate it and it rotates it on like 15 degree angles until I get a perfect 90 degree angle. Then again, I'll resize it. And I'll try to fit it to frame. Now, being that this is a portrait shot and it, the landscape TV that you're watching it on, um, you're never going to be able to do anything weird and don't try to disproportional things. In other words, don't try to stretch it out this way because of the simple fact that it looks bad. Okay, Use common sense when making a slideshow. Don't make things look bad. All right, so here's track one. What do else do I have? I have a few pictures of this stupid shelf. Okay, here's something on the shelf. And I'm just dragging in arbitrary stuff that, you know, I've shot before. Okay, look at this. This is pretty interesting in the fact that there are two pictures here. And I could put one on top of the other. Okay. That means, technically, I can probably make this one about the same size. Again, right-clicking on it and going into scale to frame size gets me halfway there. Then I can fit it to about right here. And that'll tell me if the pictures are all proportional with each other. After I'm done resizing, I can move it off to the side and then stair-step it. Okay. The stair stepping allows for a very harsh transformation. So if I hit the space bar, I can go from one to the other. So for right now, this was all about dragging in JPEGs onto your timeline and getting them size proportional. Now let's look at maybe transitions in the next video.